वेलकम डियर लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर आशु तोमर विल बी स्टार्टिंग टूडेज लेक्चर विद इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंस बेसिकली वेन एवर द टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द इंफॉर्मेशन इज एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ हायर लाइक सीन एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई दे इंटरक्ट विद ईच अदर and when they are interacting or doing the process of communication the information related to the company or maybe related to the work rules and regulations got exchanged and without information it is very difficult to work in the organization bhai kya kaam karna hai kya rules and regulations follow karne hai kya hamara limitation hai uh, what is the area to what is the department where i have to report who will delegate the work to me so all that information is very important for us as an employee so that we can work effectively in the company second importance hai to instruct to instruct instructions higher level of authority gives the instructions to middle lower level of authority and that is important because without instructions it is difficult for us to set a boundary kitna kaam karna hai kab karna hai kya rules and regulations follow karne hai so through technical communication we are able to have receive get information in a form of an instructions through different level of hierarchies persuasion persuade persuade means convince कैसे कन्विंस करते हैं किसी दूसरे पर्सन को थ्रू कम्युनिकेशन थ्रू द लैंग्वेज वट एवर लैंग्वेज यू यूज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द कन्वर्सेशन थ्रू दैट बेसिकली यू ट्राई टू परसुएड और कन्विंस अनदर पर्सन सो इट इज लाइक इन द कंपनी सेल्स पर्सनस दे परसुएड और कन्विंस जनरल पब्लिक टू परचेज द प्रोडक्ट by using the language so such a effective language is being used by them that as a customer we got persuaded convinced to purchase their products next is motivation your colleague is not uh, giving his best output or maybe he is feeling demotivated so in that situation you have communication with him by positive talk karte hain jisse ki aapke colleague ko मोटिवेशन मिले मोटिवेशन मिलेगा तो वो काम करेगा काम करेगा तो ग्रोथ होगी पॉजिटिविटी आएगी एंड इवन द कंपनी विल ग्रो सो दैट इज बाय विद द हेल्प ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन लैंग्वेज वी आर एबल टू मोटिवेट अदर पर्सन नेक्स्ट इज काउंसलिंग इन द कंपनी डिफरेंट सेशंस ऑफ काउंसलिंग आर बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर देयर एम्प्लॉज सो दैट दे कैन डू बेटर and even to increase their performance because ultimately when we are talking about the communication or in a form of a counseling it is important on a routine basis it helps us in regulating positive thoughts among the employees isliye companies mein dekha hoga apne regular basis pe counseling sessions hote rehte hain aap bhi apne friend ki like counseling karte hain uska mood theek nahi hai uske marks kam hai to how do you counsel through communication next is education we all get knowledge we all get educated with the help of technical communication agar koi communication hi nahi hoga teacher nahi hoga bacche nahi honge aapas mein interaction nahi karenge study nahi karenge to na to knowledge transfer hoga and even we will not be able to educate ourselves without communication everything is possible with the help of the communication नेक्स्ट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉपरेशन भाई जब भी कम्युनिकेशन हो रहा है आपको पता है वहाँ पे दो पार्टीज इन्वॉल्व होती हैं सेंडर और रिसीवर सेम थिंग इज देयर इवन इन द कंपनी और द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो देयर कॉपरेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेंडर एज वेल एज रिसीवर हैज टू कॉपरेट विद ईच अदर सो दैट दे कैन गिव देयर बेस्ट आउटपुट एंड इफ द आउटपुट इज गुड कंपनी विल ग्रो देन ऑल नॉट ओनली द कंपनी बट इवन इम्प्लॉयज विल गेट दैट बेनिफिट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ वंस इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स होती हैं हमारा फेस टू फेस इंटरक्शन जो है सो वेन एवर यू विल हैव अ कम्युनिकेशन ऑटोमेटिकली योर हेजिटेशन पर्सनैलिटी एवरीथिंग विल बी इम्प्रूवड एंड इवन योर फेस टू फेस इंटरक्शन दैट इज इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स विल ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव सो इट इज बेटर टू स्टार्ट विद द कम्युनिकेशन सो दैट कॉन्फिडेंस 
uh, other uh, soft skills can be developed which will help which will be more helpful in the company because in the company if you are not able to discuss your thoughts or present your thoughts then it is very difficult to survive business correspondence business correspondence means business communication in all the business in all the companies they are having the business with each other definitely all that is possible with the help of the communication maybe through business letter maybe through occasional greetings through email at times we have presentations too that we are going to another company to attend a presentation or maybe to give the presentation official correspondence official correspondence all the official work of the company or the organization is done maybe in a form of a business letters official documents reports mom proposals so all these are technical documents where the work is taking place in a form of a technical written communication so almost technical communication or basically the communication system in an organization is like a nervous system in a human body so now you can correlate the importance of communication that how much important communication is for every human being and technical communication for every professional who is working in the organization comment for your doubts and queries notes ke liye telegram channel join kare the link is given in the description box thank you